Oh, I got so much flack for this homie thing. I was getting so many emails from people that were offended that I said the homies were ethnic. I mean, I don't know how you describe the homies concept. I would say that the homies characters themselves are probably not very politically correct, but. Right, just in general as yeah. they are. I didn't mean to say it in any way, but. Not taking me. They definitely ain't blonde ones, though. I saw a homie that kind of had some reddish-looking hair. And she had one of those teardrop tattoos on her face. Because some people have a problem because I refer to the homies as ethnic in this episode. Okay. <laughs> Which is weird because like Kendra asks, where's the blonde homies? And not that you like can't be ethnic and have blonde hair, but I feel like I thought what she was asking for was like, where's the one that looks like me? You know, you want to go buy a doll. Sometimes you want the one you identify with. And I go, oh, no, they're supposed to be ethnic. But I remember at the time, like somebody was like mad at me online for calling the homies ethnic. And I've even seen it like recently. Like if there's a hater out there that really wants to try and find something I did wrong, they're like, well, you called the homies ethnic. And I'm like, they are supposed to be a specific ethnicity. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Do you guys remember homies? They were these cute little figures that were sold in like gumball machine type prize machines. They were so cute. They were little like Latin X. Like I don't know this cultural specification of the homie, but they were very cute. And I remember at the time, um, the ballet at my bank used to collect homies. They had them lined up in the little window where you would cash out. show me how you do it but I don't know how I feel about like the warning that says this ghetto game I don't have any problem with the scene like I remember we were just goofing around it was fun like Kendra wanted to show us something we did it but I feel like when they put that warning on and they say this ghetto game it gets really like appropriation-y like in an insulting way it just like leaves a really bad taste in my mouth I don't remember that warning coming on anytime we screened the show I don't know if they added it later, but it's not really cute. I was running behind on finding an outfit. I was kind of trying to make something but it didn't really work out. So at the last minute, I found an amazing outfit. I decided I'm gonna save a lot of time and effort wear a fur coat in the summers. <laughs> Wanna see my midsummer's outfit? It's awesome. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, I'm the ghost of the mountain. Aw, wait. Oh, One of my goals in Jamaica was to get a Rasta wig with dreadlocks. And when I finally found them, I could not wait to give one to Kendra because I knew she was going to freak. Do you want this one or do you want one like she has? Oh, I like that one. That's the one I want. Yeah. Wait, but you, you don't have well, that one? No, the one I like this. Um, we don't buy the Oh, I love them. Thank you. How funny is this? It's so cute. I'm ready to get in the water at any cost. I'm afraid of jellyfish. Oh yeah! We came here blonde, we're leaving Rastafarian. Yes.